Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I'm doing this video because uh, a few days ago, uh, there was uh, an episode of The Boxing Voice. Shout out to Ness. Uh, it was probably the biggest show in TVV history where uh, Eddie Hearn, Deontay Wilder, Shelly Finkel, and Tyson Fury all called in and were on the, on the show. And um, Eddie made a statement about the uh, WBC and Water Clean Boxing Program that I need to respond to, I need to correct them on. Um, and I'm not doing this to put Eddie on blast, but I want this to be clear because I do not want anyone else to to uh, to hear this and run with this, to uh, try to use this uh, as an excuse for uh, any fighter to not enroll. Uh, and I, I want it to be clear about uh, the rules uh, and why guys uh, should enroll. All right. Uh, thankfully, Ness chopped this um, interview up into uh, numerous videos. And in a very shortened video, which is 3 minutes and 44 seconds, it is titled, Eddie Hearn Says Anthony Joshua Drug Tested More Than Deontay Wilder. At the 2 minute and 4 second mark, Eddie says this was after... Ness asked him about uh, you know, Anthony Joshua testing Vada. This is what Eddie said at 2 minutes and 4 seconds. The reason people say Joshua was not on the WBC program, he's not a WBC ranked fighter. He's never been sent the forms for that. Alright. He's not a WBC ranked fighter. Alright. Uh, you do not have to be ranked. To uh, be enrolled in the Vada Clean Boxing Program. You do not. You can be voluntarily enrolled. Uh, you know, as I pointed out, when Kale Brook was the IBF welterweight champion, and even now when he is not the IBF welterweight champion, he is enrolled in the Vada Clean Boxing Program. Jeff Horn, uh, he is not ranked by the WBC currently. He is WBO champion. He is enrolled in the Vada Clean Boxing Program. And there are uh, other boxers as well who are not uh, ranked. Uh, by the WBC who are enrolled in the program. So uh, it is not a requirement to be ranked by the WBC to be enrolled in the Vada Clean Boston program and ran to be around drug testing. You can, uh, you know, you can be enrolled in their program voluntarily. Uh, and he said that he's never been sent the forms for that. Uh, well, uh, you don't have to be sent the forms, and I doubt they would send forms because there is a website wbcboxing.com slash wbcvada slash forms all right and on that page uh there are downloads new a couple of downloads uh the very first one wbc clean boxing program registration and release form you know uh it is a four page form you only have to basically right on three of the pages one of them is just uh words and uh another one is basically just a signature so not a very difficult form only four pages and uh you can print it out from your computer so i doubt wbc would uh you know mail a form once they rank the fighter they probably direct them to this website uh also the uh whereabouts form is listed on this uh website uh it is six pages hell two of those uh pages are blank so only four pages of that you uh, would have to write information on, I believe. So, uh, you know, not very difficult. And there is no no fee whatsoever. Nobody has to uh, send any money with these forms. Uh, as far as I know, the WBC, you know, they cover the testing. You just enroll, just sign up. So, you know, uh, no, no excuse in that regard. All right. Um... He pointed out that uh, AJ is uh, being tested by the WBA uh, randomly uh, because they have their uh, fair boxing program as WBA champion. Uh, Anthony Joshua is subjected to random year-round testing, blood and urine. And uh, he also pointed out that the British Boxing Board of Control, uh, they have random testing. I'm assuming it is blood and urine, uh, you know, for all, all of their uh, athletes. All right. 
Uh, but at the same time, you know, I'm not going to uh, give AJ a pass to not enroll in the Vada Clean Boston program uh, because he's enrolled in those two programs. Uh, I would encourage him to uh, em still enroll and to prove even further that he is uh, he is a clean athlete. Also, uh, people could say, you know, and, and I could not argue strong with them. Some people, some detractors, uh, haters could say, you know what? The British Boston Board of Control, Tess and Anthony Joshua, you know, how transparent is that? How fair is that? You know, AJ is a cash cow in the UK. He generates lots of money, lots of ticket sales. Uh, you know, it, it, let's, if if AJ uh, popped up on something, could they give the guy a pass? Could they, uh, you know, uh, just give him a slap on the wrist? You know, uh, turn their heads? Uh, you know, you could... So, you know, somebody could point out those things, you know, say that it's, it's not fair, you know, that, they, that the uh, BBBC could not be trusted. And, you know, I don't know the inner workings of the BBBC. You know, I have no idea if they would do that or not. So, uh, you know, to prove even further that you're clean and to be transparent uh, and fair. Uh, yes, add, add the Vada Clean Boston program to your repertoire to your uh you know list of random blood and urine testing you know so uh i don't feel that eddie was making excuses for uh aj uh may maybe he just did not know the wbc uh rules i don't know but uh you know i wanted to come on and i wanted to uh you know correct him and say what it is because i do not want you know somebody hearing this uh, and then saying, well, you know, you know, Errol Spence or whoever, they don't have to enroll because they're not ranked by the WBC and like it's a requirement. You know, it is not a requirement to enroll that you have to be ranked. You know, you can sign up voluntarily. You know, and, uh, you know, the way I feel about it, as I've said, and let me say again, you know, because people think I'm just, oh, I'm just picking on Errol Spence. I'm bitter about the Kell Brook fight. You know, this is proof. You know, I'm not giving anybody a, a, a pass or an excuse. If you're a champion uh, or top 15, uh, any weight class, any of the major four sanctioned bodies, WBA, WBC, WBO, IBF, you know, top 15 of champions, any weight class, you need to be enrolled in some form of random year-round drug test. You know, regardless of the name, regardless of who it is, this is what I want, this is what boxing needs. You know, as I said, this is boxing's big, biggest problem. And Eddie said in this interview, he said before he made the comment about the WBC and the Vodka Clean Boxing Program, he said that his words, he said that it's disgusting that the, uh, you know, that the states doesn't have, you know, random blood and urine testing throughout the year for, uh, for these athletes. And he's right, you know. These commissions should uh, combine. It should be some, 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 some type of agreement. That, uh, you know, and the funding needs to be found, whether the government or whoever, I don't know. But, uh, it, you know, this is what, this is what's needed, man. If they're doing it in the UK, it needs to be done in the States. You know, MMA, boxing, all that. Uh, hell, they could do the other sports too. Basketball, football, whatever. You know, uh, blood and urine testing randomly year round. During the season, off season, in competition, out of competition, signed up for a fight or not, whatever. You know, this is what I want, man. You know, this is how you catch, uh, you know, guys trying to cheat. And because, as I've said before, you know, you can, you know, you can uh, not be signed up for a fight, do whatever you want. And then when you know you will test clean, you can, you can take your own test. Uh, you know, once you know you will test clean. You can sign up for a fight after you've done whatever you want to do to get performance gains. And, uh, you know, you won't pop up on body tests. You won't pop up on commission tests. But you've already done your cheating. And, uh, you know, you have your fight. You know, once you're no longer subjected to a uh, commission test, a uh, body test, then you can cheat. Then cycle off. You won't pop up. Sign up for another fight. And, you know, that's how guys cheat, man. So, uh, yes, once again, I, as you can see, I'm being fair, you know, so nobody can say, oh, you're just picking on Errol Spence, you mad about the Kell Brook fight. No, I want what's best for boxing, man. I want what's, and what's best for the fans. 
You know, I, I do not want to uh, pay for any more fight where, uh, you know, one guy is subject to random year-round tests and the other guy is not, you know, and then he's knocking out a guy for the first time in his career when he only stopped 50% of the guys in his, uh, in his career, you know, please. You know, I, I do not want that feeling in my in my stomach and my throat again, man. Uh, you know, so, uh, yeah, I wanted to point this out. You know, again, you do not have to be ranked by the WBC. Errol Spence tried to use that uh, as an excuse. He tried to say that, you know, that WBC had me ranked. They dropped me out. And, uh, you know, if, if they didn't drop me out, I would have took the test. You know, they dropped him because he didn't take the test, because he didn't enroll. You know, that's what happened. Uh, you know, um, so, you know, no excuse about being ranked, you know, you can, you can enroll, you can sign up not being ranked. You can be the champion of another organization. You can sign up and you can, uh, enroll in the body clean boxing program to test randomly. Uh, you know, so, you know, and you, you don't have to be a champion. You don't have to be top 15. You know, you can be Joe Blow with an over two record. You can fill out them forms, submit them and, uh, and enroll, you know, you can. So. That's it, man. I want to come on. I want to make that clear. You know, I'm not giving nobody uh, a pass or an excuse. And I want uh, the public to know the truth, man. You know, you don't have to be ranked. Uh, you don't have to be sent any forms. You know, you don't. You just go on to the, the website, as I said. Let me give it again. WBCboxing.com slash WBCVADA slash forms. And uh, there are numerous uh, numerous documents. You know, you click on it, print it, print it off, fill it out. It's not difficult. It's very easy forms, man. These forms are not difficult. So uh, you know, and there is uh, there is no uh, document fee, no testing fee. I saw none of that shit. So you know, so nobody can make, make an excuse about how they gotta pay for their own tests. To be it, the, uh, they gotta pay to be enrolled in the body clean busting program. You know, no bosses get no excuse from me, man. You know, I want all the top guys and champions enrolled in this program. Let me stress again, not just Errol Spence. So, you know, so don't whine and say I'm just picking on Errol Spence and you're not talking about AJ, you're not talking about Canelo. I want them all enrolled. Let me say it again. So, you know, do not say that shit. All right, I'm a fair man here. So that's it. I'm not putting Eddie on blast. I'm just, you know, I'm just correcting him. You know, I want the Boston public to know. You know, again, you don't have to be ranked. Uh, you know, you don't have to be mailing the forms, man. You can voluntarily enroll. You know, you can be a champion in an other organization, other sanctioned body. You can enroll. You know, don't have to be top 15. You can enroll. So that's it, man. I want AJ to enroll. I want Canelo to enroll. I want Gilmo Rigondeaux to enroll, Noya Anyway to enroll. I want everybody to enroll. All the guys I'm fans of, if they not enroll, I want them to enroll. So that's it. Uh, if you guys have any thoughts, any words, let me know. And uh, I'll check in with you guys soon, man. Thanks for watching.